In Numbers chapter 12, we see one of the first family conflicts in ministry. We're told that Miriam and Aaron, Moses' sister and brother, became critical of Moses because he had married a Cushite woman. But as we read further, it's clear that Moses' wife was not the real problem. What was at issue is revealed in verse 2, where Miriam and Aaron said, Has the Lord spoken only through Moses? Hasn't he spoken through us too? It seems that jealousy had crept into the hearts of Moses' siblings, but the Lord heard them. The words the Lord heard them should be a stark reminder to you and I that the Lord hears and sees all. He knows the thoughts and intentions of our hearts. So immediately, the Lord calls the three siblings into his presence. And here's what he says to Aaron and Miriam about Moses. Of all my house, he's the one I trust. I speak to him face to face, clearly, and not in riddles. He sees the Lord as he is. So why were you not afraid to criticize my servant Moses? And here's the thing. In criticizing Moses, Miriam and Aaron were really criticizing the Lord and how he chose to use Moses. And the Lord speaks correction as he describes his unique relationship with Moses. But that's not all. In verse 9, we're told the Lord was very angry with them. And as he departed, Miriam was plagued with leprosy and had to remain outside the camp for seven days. For me, it's a reminder from Scripture that God gives gifts as he sees fit. He knows what's best for us, how we can serve him most effectively, and we should be content with that. Jealousy in ministry only leads to conflict with the head of the ministry, Jesus Christ, the builder of God's church. And it can also lead to very real consequences, as it did for Miriam while she was isolated outside the camp.